Well, it's time for my Monday update, although today is Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> part of the reason I didn't do it yesterday, the main reason I, well, part of the reason I didn't do it yesterday was because I was ashamed to report I gained six pounds. That's just unexcusable. It really is. Um, I guess I was living high on the hog thinking I'd lost so much weight from being sick the week before, and I got overconfident. And I went back to my old eating habits. I drank my pop to the point that um, my feet hurt. I um, kind of realized the correlation between when I drink a lot of pop and my feet tingle. And uh, I know it's because of the sodium intake that um, I have, um, I don't have gout, but I have the issues of gout, you know, leading up to it. So uh, if I get too much sodium in my system, then my feet hurt. And uh, I do take medication for it. But obviously, if you do anything in excess, medication's not going to work. And uh, so I had that realization yesterday as my feet were really hurting. So um, I'm drinking water. This is my fourth glass today, and it's only 10 to 1. So um, I, uh, I drank too much before I went to the dentist this morning, and I had to go while we were in the middle of doing my teeth. I said, I am so sorry. I cannot hold this not one minute longer. So she had to stop so I could go to the bathroom. Kind of embarrassing because as a grown adult, you should be able to control your bladder. But when you're drinking a lot of water and you're taking a water pill at the same time, and you've retained a lot of water because you've eaten so poorly, um, got to go somewhere. So uh, that's what happened. And I, um, now, so now I'm under my this is my fourth glass of water now. I had, th I had three before I left. This is my fourth one now. So I'm going to drink a lot of water today. I'm not going to drink any pop. I'm, you know, I'm like an alcoholic, but I'm a popaholic. And I, I have to realize that I just can't take that one drink. I think I can take one drink. And, and as I've told you before, I can go to a restaurant and have it from the fountain, and I'm fine, and it doesn't affect me. But I'm telling you, it's that sound that, that you know, drags me back in, pulls me back. And, uh... Not good, not good at all. So uh, six pounds, that's bad. I um, I ate really well on Monday and Tuesday, but then Wednesday I started my preparations for Thanksgiving and you know, like as you're cutting up the bread and seasoning it, um, I eat the raw bread, like with the sage and everything in it. It's odd, but that's what I do. And then um, I um, had a brownie after I made the brownies and then uh, I had frosting after I frosted the cake. I'm not a pie eater, so that didn't tempt me at all. Although I always seem to have a problem with my oven. For some reason, the oven went off and wouldn't go back on, so I had to bring the pies over to Denise's house to cook them at Denise's. But by the time I started cooking the pumpkin pies there, with the oven was working, it was just a whole other story. And then on Thursday, I did pretty good on Thursday. I had my normal Thanksgiving meal, which was fattening, obviously, because I had the dressing and um, the squash. Which, you know, sweet potatoes shouldn't be that bad, but, you know, when you go and put brown sugar in it, that kind of, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of a vegetable. And then I had cream cauliflower, which is a, a mixture I make with uh, flour and cheese and milk. And uh, you kind of make a thick base for it and you pour it over the cauliflower. Should have just ate the cauliflower. And then I had the broccoli, but I had cheese on the broccoli. And uh, then I had a corn muffin and I had a slice of bread. Not bread, biscuit. I had a biscuit. Two biscuits, if I'm going to be honest. I had two biscuits. And then, well, of course, you got to have butter on that. I'm not a big gravy eater, so that kind of helped me out somewhat. I put a little bit of gravy on the stuffing, and that's about it. And uh, But then I put salt on the turkey, and I put butter on the potatoes. So it was a fatty meal, if you look at it. And then I had a slice of cake, and then at night I had another slice of cake, and I had a brownie, and I had a pop, and then I had another pop, and then I had another pop. And then on fr Friday... I ate out, well I carry out, I brought it home, had pop, Saturday, carry out, had pop, Sunday, carry out, had pop, yesterday, carry out, no, wait a minute, yeah, yeah, pizza and pop, but today I'm, like I got up early, had my water, I'm, I'm determined, I boiled my eggs, I'm going to have my breakfast, I'm going to have my usual standard breakfast, uh, we're going to have a meatloaf for dinner. And I got to get back on track. I just, I have to because the holiday is going to be here quick enough. It's like four weeks away and I can't afford to lose, gain six pounds a week. Oh my gosh, it'll put me right back to where I started. I got on the scale this morning and it's just, 
it's just disgusting because I've gained like 18 pounds from the lowest I've been and that's just ridiculous and I can't I can't afford it not at my age it takes forever to come off it doesn't come off like in a snap like it used to so I have to really work I can put it on in a snap I just can't take it off here's my Christmas stuff I'll give you a tour probably I still got one more string of lights I got to put up over there and then um, I'll do my tour but uh, I got on the sidetrack. But uh, the main reason I didn't uh, post yesterday was uh, because of Cyber Monday. I had a heck of a time uploading just my daily vlog. My daily vlog took almost two and a half, three hours to upload. And uh, I thought, well, I'm not going to do that because I play a lot of games on my phone and I do all my work through the phone. And I, I couldn't, I couldn't be away from my games that long. <laughs> so, and uh, so, but I, I'm, de I'm a new sense of renewal. And once again, I. Uh, you know, thankfully you can start over. If, if there was a way that you couldn't start over, I'd be, I'd be dead. I'd, it'd be done. I'd be done. That's for sure. Because uh, that's my saving grace is that I can start over. And um, I know that a lot of people are struggling. And uh, I never got with Gina Pearson last week. Last week I didn't even exercise or drink my water. I was really bad for her motivational Mondays. And all I can do is apologize, Gina. I, I, uh, I have no excuses. Oh, well, I have excuses, but they're not legitimate excuses. I mean, anybody can come up with an excuse, but a legitimate excuse, those are hard to come by. So uh, I have no legitimate excuse. I was just just being like a pig. There's no other word for it. I mean, I just, uh, I was, it's just shameful. It's just, there's no other word for it. Shame, shame, shame on me. It's just, but I, I'm back on the horse again. Galloping? No, trotting along. I'm not galloping. I have to get back to walking. I don't know why I fell out of that habit. I just fell out of so many habits in the last month, and, and I can't really pinpoint a reason. I really can't. I um, I don't eat properly. That's a habit I've fallen out of. I don't walk. I've fallen out of that. Um, I haven't been going to swim classes with Bertie because our schedules have just kind of clashed with other things. I'm not going to even be able to go tomorrow because... Um, we have plans for tomorrow morning. I have to go see our financial advisor, set up our money for 2017. I'm hoping 2017 is going to be better because I'm telling you, 2016 was a bust. It really was. I didn't, uh, um, I didn't really accomplish much in 2016 other than put back weight. I just, um, I, I weighed less last year at this time. And then from the last year at this point, the 22nd of November, I didn't lose any weight. I lost weight, gained weight, lost weight, gained weight. I went up and down. So, 2016 was just a total bust for me, so um, I'm looking forward to January 1st. I'm not going to wait until January 1st, but I'm looking forward to it so I can get back on the track. Get back on the track. Get back on track. And uh, see, my mind thinks faster than my mouth, which sometimes is good, but most times is bad. So, babbling now. So, that's about it. I, um, I'm hoping to get back on the scale tomorrow and see a little bit of a loss with the water drinking that I got rid of some of the sodium intake so it'll kind of be a boost if I don't drink pop no when I don't drink pop today that'll kind of take out some of my salt intake with the water that'll flush my system and uh, there's no goodies in the house so well there's goodies but that's the kind of goodies I like so that that's not tempting for me and other than that that's about it so um Thanks for sticking with me. I um, I know it's kind of hard sometimes to support me when I'm not doing so well, but you stay with me, and I really appreciate it more than you'll ever know. And I just wanted to thank everybody out there, and um, well, that's it. Thanks for being there for me. I really appreciate it. I've fallen behind in watching my videos, too. I've been like, I don't know, been in the funk. I don't know why, but... This is my favorite time of year, so I'm going to be cheering up now. So uh, there I go again. So, so, so. And I don't sew. <laughs> so, I, so I will see you um, next week, but I'll see you on my daily vlogs. In the meantime, like this video, subscribe, comment, and share.